recording. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. Um, I have to set you up on a tripod. So I'm gonna take this down and winterize, well, winterize. I'm weather weatherproofing my tent, so yeah. I'm gonna take this down. And I have to like walk around the other side because <laughs> this way is blocked. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hopefully I can edit that part out. <laughs> so, this is done. I'm gonna leave the lights on. In fact, I actually have extra lights I might bring out here. But I think that one I'll put on the inside, so that'll be cool. Um, yeah. Let me just go ahead and start doing this, and then, uh, yeah, and I'll do like a tour or something. <laughs> I think that's the second part. There's two of them. This one's really gross, so. Alright, 
so it's really sticky and gross, but it's waterproof, so I need it. Okay, so I have no idea how this works. Watch me post this just like a raw, unedited <laughs> fucking video. Probably would be super hard to stay with. My, my ADHD could never. You have to really like me to actually watch this entire video. <laughs> you have to actually like me. Anyway. Air vents, that's cool. Um, okay, I'm gonna go on the other side. brain just clicked. My brain clicked. I figured it out. I'm just a quirky weirdo building a tent in my backyard. Woohoo! I'm doing this for a reason actually. <laughs> Believe it or not. I am doing this for a reason. So this is my version of Manifestation. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, I see the other thing on this. There's like blackberries on here. Yeah, they people who have used this probably <laughs> were in Seattle because the, there's blackberry juice everywhere. So this is on now, and I have one more layer, which that show. So this is the last layer. And then white, orange and white, and the orange, orange and orange. Manifestation. Um, I pitched a tent in my backyard because I want to go camping. I want to go camping. And I've been wanting to go camping for a long time. For years, years, years. I've wanted to go camping. But, but I would just be stuck at home 
work all the time. I think this is backwards. This is like putting on a fitted sheet. <laughs> oh, let's try this way. It might work better. So yeah, I've been wanting to go camping. And your girl is determined to do that. To manifest a lifestyle that I want, that I actually enjoy. Something that makes me happy and gives me growth. So I'm gonna go camping, but I haven't ever really been camping. <laughs> um, I've been camping as a kid. Um, I've had, like, luxurious experiences with camping, where, like, I've, ca I, like, I've camped in a living room, you know, but this is the first time I've camped outside, and I have to find what suits me and makes me comfortable, but also if I can enjoy it, and this is bad. Guy to come and help me pitch this tent, you know. But only my new bow. Is there not another spot where this would? Ooh, how the hell? This doesn't make sense. How about this? Yeah, this, there's no way this could work. What the fuck? This doesn't make any sense. How many times have I undone and redone this? Cause what? It just doesn't. <laughs> Orson. Stop. Well, I will just tie it here, and it's not even the same color. <laughs> Well, the roof is covered. There is a waterproof liner. And it's not super windy, so like this would be fine for like as far as a tent goes. So I'm practicing camping. You know that camping. Um, yeah, because I don't want to like go out there by myself and be fucking miserable because I came unprepared, you know. So 
and preparing for camping. I am just me learning how to camp and how I would do that. And then I will be camping. Because that's the life that I want and that's the life I've manifested for myself. I did it! Oh, and I did it in 15 minutes. Hell yeah. That wasn't bad. Um, yeah. I'll probably end up getting... Oh! That makes more sense. Okay, I get it now. I'll do that if, if it gets windy. You know, if it gets windy outside. But I think it's not necessary right now. <laughs> it's not been really windy. Anyways, yeah, this is me camping in my backyard, and then I will show you a tour of my facility. Put that in there. And then you put the bag in the bag in the bag. <coughs> in all the bags together. In a configuration you can carry. And you gotta remind the world that you're quirky. Yeah. This is what you want. <laughs> Fucking YouTube, social media, and it's... I'm not a Britney Broski, you know. I can be funny when it's I don't know, socially normal. I don't know. Social, social situations in a group like I'm pretty funny in a group I guess why does this feel like I'm making a video for the bachelorette that would be funny <laughs> hey I'm trying to sell you on a product the product is me I'm weird and a little fat and I have a thing for camping I'm gonna take you inside this tent. Get ready for an adventure. Let's go. Open the tent. I'm gonna see how it feels. It's cold or it's warm. What is it? Okay, here we go. Ooh. Libby, known for her great, uh, camera skills. <laughs> Pardon. And it's a different world in here now. <sighs> um, it feels a little more, I might put some tapestries up. Because it's stale. It's a stale environment. And I have to get all the little flakes off the outside. Okay. Close the tent. We're gonna see how the temperature is. So far it's like really nice. It's a little chilly. Which is my favorite <laughs> time of the year. And I think I have something I can sit you on. Cause I'm in a tent. Am I crazy? <laughs> I have purple lights, but I unplugged them cause it's daylight hours. So I just have natural light. And now it's like, I feel like a luxury military tent. Oh, I could totally tell y'all about the time that I was in basic training. Um, <laughs> yeah, because like, I used to post videos when I was in the military, and then I got a lot of followers that way. 
but then I got out of the military and I just kept making videos. So here I am today. Um, looking back, I regret deleting those videos. Um, I wish I didn't do that. <laughs> So, in the future, I will not be deleting videos. Um, I'm gonna Trisha Paita, Trisha Paytas this shit, you know? Like, I'm just gonna chill in my tent and schmuck hui. Schmuck hui. I don't know if I can light this on camera. Mm You're not supposed to do this, but I have to, you know, bless this tent. I can open this though, but yeah, I'm hot boxing that tent. But yeah, it's mostly a uh, fire hazard, and that's why I try to keep things open. So things I've noticed about this tent is it's really sticky on the inside. So um, I would probably get a tarp for this, like kind of treat it like a carpet layer, you know? Um, and then, yeah, I would have a tarp just to, because I don't know how waterproof the inside is. Um, it's the same material as the liner so I I assume that it's pretty waterproof but I doubt that it's like 100% waterproof um, speaking from experience so when I was in basic training um, we had to do field training and it was they have us do like a 21 mile hike and um, I did that and Technically, I felt like it wasn't a full 21 miles, though, because we had a tropical storm the day we went to the fucking... <laughs> like, why would they keep us on the plan? It's... But I get it's training, it, you know? So, you know, if you're scheduled to be somewhere, no matter what the weather looks like, you're gonna have to show up, so... <laughs> So yeah, we just hiked up there and like it was dry when we were getting to the location um, and I got to set up my tent, but then it just started pouring rain and we all were like under a pavilion and half my body got soaked. The other half stayed dry. So I was half soaked and um, I just like protected my helmet because <laughs> I was like, I'm not paying for damages to this stupid thing this helmet that doesn't fit me you know they made they they made me have a helmet that was too big and i couldn't aim properly i was like pissed off i was like i would i can shoot without the helmet but this helmet's too small or too big i i got a bigger helmet or or smaller helmet um in ait so yeah we when we did field training during that i had I could actually see, so. But yeah, they don't really give a shit about what your size is during basic. They're just like, here, that's your uniform, put it on. <laughs> and mine was like massive. But like, I, I was 145 pounds and had this massive suit on, so I just looked like tiny. And um, I thought I was so fat during that time girl <laughs> you were not fat i'm fat now but i'm losing weight so that's fine you know i'm fine with my current size you know i'm down to 173 177 you know kind of fluctuates so yeah lost weight but yeah I was in um tropical storm and um it rained all day all night they had us doing fucking 
they didn't have us stop doing what we're supposed to do while, while it was raining. So we're just all miserable and soaking wet. And then um, they sent us to our tents, but our tents were dry because that's how we set them up before it rained. So we were lucky, I guess. <laughs> I couldn't imagine camping out there wet on wet. So when I got in my tent, I was able to like dry myself off. Um, I just like got naked, just took everything off. And I was like, um, I'm going to, I was like, it's hot and humid and raining. So I was like, well, I'm just going to sleep naked. And, um, I had like this tarp underneath me, which it's not technically a good idea to sleep naked because if you do, um, and they like call you out, like you have to, <laughs> you have to leave your tent the way you're, you're dressed. So I, you know, I was just like, fuck it. So I was like sleeping naked in my tent. Um, and then I, I like put the wet things in a separate bag because I was like, I can't dry this off currently. So, and my tent was way smaller than this. Like it was like this high, like it's literally one person tent and I didn't have like room like this. This is so nice. I, this is like the size of a full bed and it's really comfortable. So upgrade Libby. Um, yeah, so I like was in a tiny tent. It was pouring rain. The, the floor was like a little damp, but I had this um, bag and it's pretty long. It's like um, the size of a laundry bag, I guess. Um, so like about that big. And um, yeah, well, and it was my liner for my clothes, like to keep things dry. Um, so I had like laid it out like a tarp um, and I had a tarp underneath me. So like the tent was pretty dry, but it was a little damp like along the edges. So I just like put the liner down to keep the middle dry. And then I didn't have a bed. I had like a, a roll and it was like a mat, like it's just a flat mat. And, um, what else? Oh, I didn't have a pillow. Um, <laughs> I had a duffel bag. And I still have the duffel bag. And I think I will probably use that to go camping with. Because I can carry it. And I can put a lot of stuff in it. Which I could probably fit this cushion in it. Uh, I'll have to test that theory, but... That's the plan, because I'm bringing this, everything in this tent that you see, I'm bringing, like, I will have to carry all of this, pillows included, because your girl camps comfy, okay? But I have to be able to protect this stuff and keep it dry. So that's why I'm talking about my fucking military experience. Um... back where we were yeah I'm high so bear with me um yeah but it was a little damp in there put down the tarp I was sleeping against my duffel bag which is just full of gear um including my helmet which I protected and it was dry um and I put my socks inside my helmet in the duffel bag and then I all, all my clothes that I packed, um, I kept dry, um, cause it was in my dry and wet bag. So when it rained, the, um, the tent pretty much protected my duffel bag, but it was a little damp around the edges. So the bag was a little wet, but my clothes were dry because of the bag. And then I put the bag on the floor as a mat. So it basically kept everything dry and I'm just naked. So I'm like sitting in the middle of my tent, exhausted, sweaty, cold. <laughs> so it's like a cold sweat. And I'm just like, I need to get dry. <laughs> and um, 
and then I can go to sleep. Because I was like, I'm not getting a fucking fungus or some weird thing. Um, and it was like spring. I, I went in basic in May. So it was like spring, early summer, June, I think, almost June. Yeah, it was almost June. So, because it's like about two months. May, June. Yeah, it was about June when we did the field training thing. It was towards the end of the basic training. They had us do that. So, yeah. Um, I'm, dry, I'm drying off. Um, I had wet wipes and, like, dry shampoo. So, I just, like, put, I just wiped myself off. And then I, um, it kind of helped where I'm, like, drying, starting to dry. And then, um, there's like a bird outside. <sighs> yeah, so I dried myself off. And then, um, I put on a pair of dry socks, a pair of dry pants, and a sports bra. Just, and that's what I went to bed in. I was like, I'm not putting a shirt on. It's too hot. <laughs> so then I slept kind of half sitting up, half laying on the duffel bag like a cowboy <laughs> and um yeah and my boots I had in the tent um because it was raining still it was continuously raining um <laughs> so yeah it it was a tropical storm and it went on for like uh a day and a half so it was it was a lot of rain um and when we woke up, they had us um, do PT in the morning, and um, I had a dry uniform on, dry and clean uniform, but it wasn't clean for very long because they had us doing <laughs> PT in the mud after it rained, like fucking fresh mud not no grass just mud <laughs> had us doing pt in the mud oh there was a little grass yeah it was a little grassy um yeah and we did pt in the rain got like sand and dirt all over us and like mud on my knees and just got really dirty and then they had us do um we had to like go to we had to hike to an, a separate area and they had us it was a little more dry but it was still like damp and um it's mostly sandy like I think they put sand on this area so it was kind of sandy I remember and sandy and like grassy and there was porta potties that smelled really bad um it was pretty grody and it, I think it was the same area where we had the pavilion that we like went under during the rain and yeah, so then they had us digging trenches <laughs> and I, I had to dig a trench with this tiny shovel. It's like that big, Just trying to dig a ditch, but I couldn't dig very good. And like the men are all like digging these massive trenches. And I was like, how the fuck are you doing that? And then my battle buddy and I were digging our trench together, so two women just digging <laughs> dinky little trenches. And I think my tent, or my, uh, I was laying in my ditch, and they were, like, testing to see if they could see our helmets, and, um, they could see my helmet, because mine was too high. So, yeah. Orson, what are you doing? Nosy boy. Yeah. So then, um, we were doing, yeah, we were digging trenches. I got my trench a little bit lower, and then they said it was fine, and I was like, nice. Trench dug. <laughs> not my strong suit but yeah that was fun not really that it really sucked I hated doing that part that sucked um then I passed out so we they had us like doing 
um, like you're watching, like pretending you're watching for people coming up. <clears throat> and I fell asleep. And <laughs> everyone left. And I was by myself. I was by myself. They forgot me. <laughs> I didn't know where anyone was, and so a drill sergeant came up and saw me and was like, "Where, where's your battle buddy? And I was like, I don't know. I've just been sitting here. <laughs> They're like, You've just been staring into the woods this whole time. And I was like, yeah. yeah. And then they were like, come with me. And I was like, I'm going to be in so much trouble. I was like, they're gonna punish me. <laughs> and then and then I got to they took us or took me <laughs> by myself. <laughs> they took me to um <laughs> what is it? Um this they took me to this other drill sergeants. So I went to a different fucking company. <laughs> so okay. It's so bad. Okay, so <laughs> I fell asleep. <laughs> so I got separated from my company. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> what? I just remembered that. <clears throat> I got separated from my company. So they put me in with another company. <laughs> and I was just sitting in the woods with this. People I didn't know. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> I'm just doing field training with a company of strangers. <laughs> and then um, <laughs> the drill sergeant was really nice. He was the chaplain. He was like that bassist chaplain. He was really nice. And he was just like the most gentle drill sergeant I ever met. <laughs> He was a drill sergeant. He had the fucking patch. He was just a really nice guy. <laughs> he was a chaplain. He was like, um, have you ever thought, like, about not practicing witchcraft? <laughs> he was like, I don't think that's good for your soul. <laughs> and I was like, I think my soul is okay, sir. <laughs> I was like, Thank you for your concern. <laughs> he was really nice. But yeah, they had us like drawing maps for um, moving platoons around. You know, like you have like the leader and then like the followers. And then they like, they have patterns that you have to like walk in. Yeah. So they were talking about that and like drawing in this, the dirt. And I was like, this is cool. This is cool. Um, I was like, how did I get here? <laughs> and I started making new friends. And um, I was cleaning my weapon during that time. They were like drawing in the sand. And I was just like cleaning my weapon. Because it, it's hella dirty out there. And if your weapon has like dirt in it, it won't fire properly. Or, or at all. Or it could, you know. So like, <laughs> I was cleaning my weapon. But it's also more likely to jam, and then you have to, like, fix a jam mid-fight. So, like, you, you have to keep your weapon clean. And I was really good at doing that. Um, in fact, <laughs> but during field training, um, it was really hard to clean your weapon. Like, God, it was really hard. I actually, um, I literally, that whole day, I was like, we did the field training thing. Uh, where I'm, like, drawing maps in the sand, cleaning my weapon, and I lost somebody's little pin. The little, the firing pin. I lost it. And it wasn't my gun, it was his. I lost his firing pin. <laughs> I would be such a burden to our nation's military. <laughs> I lost his fire. <laughs> and he, he covered for me. <laughs> he covered for me. He was 
like, Drill Sergeant, I lost my firing pin. He was like, you what? I lost my firing pin. We looked everywhere. And <laughs> <laughs> laughing by myself is so weird. It's such a vibe. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> I lost his firing pin. He covered for me. Then he got a new one from the drill sergeant. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, and then, um, because I was so careful with mine. <laughs> and then I dropped it. Oh, it's so embarrassing. I feel so bad. But we got through training. <laughs> we did it. We got through it. Um... Yeah, I would be a burden to our nation, our nation's military. I would, I would be a burden. I, I don't think I could keep up with. That. <laughs> Definitely not today. <laughs> I mean, couldn't do that. Oh. Yeah. So now I'm sitting in a tent, and I'm gonna be way more comfy <laughs> in the woods. Um. If you watch this entire video, I am sincerely sorry. <laughs> There's no reward for watching this video. <laughs> uh, you know, have a good fucking day. 